Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Uriel Kame. Welcome to another episode of Ask Yuri. Once again, just before we start, you can join me on Facebook every single day for Ask Yuri Live. This is where I answer your questions live on the spot. So just type in Uriel Kame in Facebook, add me as a friend, and stay tuned for when we do those. Today we're going to be talking about uh, swimming, strength training, and how to combine all that stuff. Uh, even if you're not a swimmer, this is some really helpful information. Uh, Alright, so here we go. So, hey Yuri, thanks for all your advice and great videos. Keep them coming. I recently just started a summer swimming program and we swim for about two hours every single morning. I was on a strength training schedule before starting, but this week I'm just worried about getting back into swimming shape. Uh, I've read that during swim season that I should be doing a light uh, I should be doing strength training with light weights for more reps, but I want to gain more strength for the other sports I do. So my question is, how can I swim for two hours, five days a week and still do consistent strength training workouts uh, without overworking myself or being too tired for swimming? Uh, what exercises, what days, and would you suggest lifting immediately after swimming or later in the day because lifting before swimming is not an option? Okay, so first of all, I would never recommend anybody do light weights for high reps. Uh, it's a recipe for disaster for any sport. If you want to be, if, I, I don't know why anyone would advise that anyways. I mean, if you're going to spend time doing light weights and high reps, you might as well just swim. But if you want to build strength, you need to use low reps, high weights, right? So generally repetitions, uh, six to eight reps, heavier weights, building strength, right? So the more strength you have, the more power in each stroke you can develop with your swimming, all right? So very important. If you're in the weight room, focus on strength. When you're in the pool, focus on your endurance. It's as simple as that. Now, how can you train five days a week with swimming? Uh, I don't know your schedule in terms of what you do throughout the day, but what I would recommend if you're swimming in the morning, do your strength training later on at night or later on in the day. And I would say, you know, about three strength training workouts a week is plenty. You don't really need that much more because you are getting a lot of activity through swimming. So maybe, you know, you're doing uh, Monday to Friday swimming. Let's say you do swimming in the morning. You may want to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday afternoon or evening strength training workouts in the gym. Uh, if you want, you can focus on swimming specific movements, right? That are going to strengthen uh, your ability to pull better, kick better, whatever it is. But you definitely want to develop some good core strength, good leg strength through the hip flexors, glutes pulling strength, right? So you could do things like uh, straight arm lat pull downs for the lats and triceps, all sorts of different exercises you could do. Uh, I won't get into the specifics, but um, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily suggest lifting after swimming because you're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna have the energy to lift heavy. So say, you know, get in some good calories after a swim, give yourself some rest for a couple hours, then do your strength training later, later in the day, uh, and that's what I would recommend. Now, for all you athletes out there who are, in a, who are in a similar position, whether it be swimming or whatever else, remember, I would never recommend doing light weights for lots of reps. And this is something I've seen with a lot of runners who think that, okay, well, if I want to get into, if I want to become a more endurance runner, I need to do endurance exercises in the gym. That's not the case. You don't need to be doing lunges for, you know, with very light weights for 50 reps. No, no, no. Build strength in the gym so your muscles are strong and more powerful so that your running stride improves and you're less susceptible to injury, right? Don't lift five pounds, you know, and waste your time with that. Crank up the weight, six to eight reps, build strength so you can become a better runner because studies show that the stronger you are, the more powerful you are, the better your technique is, not only in running, but in a lot of other sports as well, swimming, cycling as well. Uh, so that's what I'd recommend, right? Focus on the endurance in the sport itself, in the weight room, focus on strength. So um, that's probably my best answer to this question. Hopefully that's what you were looking for. And uh, thanks again for the question. Remember to join me on Facebook for Ask Yuri Live every single day. Just type in my name, uh, search me up on Facebook. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video.